Joining me is Hereford FC captain Jimmy Oates. Jimmy, this is going to be your fourth season here at Edgar Street. Was it an easy decision to re-sign for the forthcoming season? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, to be fair. It's, it's been an awesome three years and I think it'd be silly to walk away. Um, well, it'd be a tough decision to walk away from something like this when, when the club's on the up like it is and um, hopefully we can kick on and make it four in a row. How's pre-season training gone so far? Uh, it's, I've only been back for two seconds now, but um, no, it's been good the first week so far. All the boys look as though they've kept in relatively good shape and um, yeah, the, the squad's looking strong. Um, we've sold just over 1,500 season tickets. Are you just delighted by the level of support this club seems to get? Yeah, yeah, no, it does. It blows me away. I think all my mates back home, I went home to Australia and they, they couldn't believe the support that we get. And It's just, yeah, you don't see anything like it back home at this sort of level. Um, I think the fans have been amazing and it seems like it's going to be another good year for them. Joining me is Jenison Murray williams here on the Edgar Street pitch. Jenison, was it an easy decision to re-sign for the 2018-2019 season? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I enjoyed my time here last year and, um, you know, I like what um, the manager's got plans for this season. So, yeah, I was happy to get on board. Was it hard coming in towards the end of the last season without having many games for previous teams? Yeah, it was because obviously I had to catch up fitness-wise and football-wise. So, um, but you know, everyone helped me a lot, the players, the staff, and um, you know, they helped me get up to speed, and it ended up being a very good season. How different have you found Hereford FC from your spell at Hereford United in 2009? Um, to be honest with you, I can't remember much from 2009, but um, I just remember we had some good games. But um, as I said, my time now, I fully enjoyed it, and that's all I can remember right now. Do you remember anything about that goal against the Leeds? That's one of my favourite goals I've ever seen. I think you started actually so, um, on the position you are now and you scored so, an absolute worldie. Someone said that to me, but do you know what? I really can't remember it. I've got, um, it's funny enough, I've got a picture of my, my uh, PC of the celebration, but I can't picture the goal. Can't. Going forward to next season, do you think you'll be playing more of a striking role or do you think you'll be on the wing? Um, I'm not sure really. It just depends what, what the manager's thoughts are and vision is really. Um, but, you know, where, however I can help the team, I just want to, you know, play further up the pitch and, you know, score and create goals, so, yeah. Are you still based in Bristol as well? Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to find the travelling for the, uh, the National North matches? Yeah, as I said, just like a lot of people, not just me, it's going to be difficult, but, as you say, you can't knock it until you try it. So, I'm um, going to give it the best shot, and we all are, and we're going to, you know, we're not going to make any excuses. We're just going to get on with it and do the best we can. Joining me is new Hereford FC signing Danny Greensley. Danny, what do you make of Hereford FC so far? Um, I think you can see just by being around the stadium is a massive club and uh, hopefully we can do well this season and give it a good go. Last season we had the opportunity to join the club. Yeah. Um, was it a case of just waiting and seeing what happened before joining the Bulls? Um, well, obviously I knew the size of the club now, but obviously I've got ambitious players as high as I can at, at that present time. Um, I was playing at a high level at Western and um, I just didn't really want to drop down at the time at all. So obviously now I for the higher up, then I jumped at the chance to come and join. Can you tell us a bit more about your background? Have you been at Western for most of your career? Uh, so I was at Bristol Rovers. I think I was probably there for about three, four years. And then I had a few loan spells out of Gloucester, Bath, etc. And then last season then I signed at Western and then I think I had a good season by my own standards. So now I'm here. Are you more of an attacking left back or more, more defensive? Uh, I'd say definitely like to get forward, but at the same time, you've got to be able to defend. So it's all part of the job. And how have you found the uh, Hereford FC squad so far? Um, I think the standard has been really high. A couple of really fit lads, which hasn't been too fun trying to keep up with, but it's all in a good day's work.